Because I kind of... I still I, really I learned... dislike Dark Law. I don't think Dark Law is honestly the worst card in the game in general. I still think that that, that, that title goes to Machina Fortress, although I am ho horribly biased towards that. Um, but Dark Law is absolutely absurd with how much how much raw power he has. But he dies to remove her. Uh, and? I only have two removal cards in the entire deck. Really? Yeah, I've and, got Fissure and, and, use... and Smashing Ground. That's it. Pot of Duality goes up first. Let's see what we got. Warrior returning alive. Neos Alias or a Hero Lives. You probably want Hero Lives, honestly. I want I want a Hero Lives, yeah. Because there's one thing that I'm starting to notice about this deck that's kind of terrible is that it wants it wants a lot of graveyard and banish pile setup, and it's very difficult to pull off those effects at the very beginning of the game, which means that you're probably going to be struggling just to just to do shit. Did did it re did the game receive the command to shuffle? Because it didn't yes. it didn't shuffle the deck yet. Mm, Cloud Nine shuffled his deck. And he shuffled his deck a second time. I can't special summon any monsters for the rest of his turn, but that's okay because I can special I can normal summon Card Trooper, mm -hmm. and mill three cards for his ability. There goes Honest again. Mask, Mask charge. change. And bottomless. And bottomless. Tri I did it. I'm gonna attack your face down. Uh, okay then. Your guy armor survives and his effect activates. <laughs> oh no! And I'm gonna grab. <laughs> <laughs> gear, uh, gear guy accelerator. Okay. Uh, main phase two. I'm I'm just gonna end my turn. Okay then. All right. I will uh, set gear guy armor with his effect. Mhm. Mm then I will flip summon gear guy armor, activating his effect. Get another gear guy monster. I'm gonna get uh. Gear accelerate. I know. I'm only I'm only allowed to run the one accelerator. Lubricated locomotion. Now nah, we're gonna go for Gear Guy Arsenal. Sweet. Mm, all right, and we're going to normal summon Gear Guy Arsenal. Nice. Then we will special summon Gear Guy Accelerator. Nice. So your Gear Guy Arsenal is twenty one hundred right now. Yep. Very nice. I'll have Gear Guy Arsenal attack a card trooper. I lose seventeen hundred. But you get to draw Just a card. Like but I get to draw a card. It's one of my favorite things in all these games to do, is draw cards. <laughs> I'll have Gear Guy armor attack you directly. And I'll have Gear Guy accelerator attack you directly. The damage. It hurts. Alright. Now, I can go into my super boss, but... Well, what's the fun in that, when you can't attack with him? Hmm... Honestly, there is quite a bit of fun involved in that, but... Alright, uh, I'll overlay my Gear Guy Armor and Gear Guy Accelerator in order to go into Gear Guy Gen X. Okay. Cool. And next, <laughs> I'll activate Gear Guy X's ability, detaching okay. uh, Gear Guy Armor to add... Uh, where are you? Uh, yeah. Gear Guy, uh, Gear Guy Attacker. Nice. And I will end. Beautiful. First question, do I have anything useful in my graveyard? The answer is no. Second question, do I have anything useful in my hand? Kind of. I'm going to start using them. Um, first, I'm going to activate um, the E-Emergency Call. Okay. I'll allow you to add a hero from your, hand to your, from your deck to your hand. And that card is going to be... Uh, actually, wait. Okay, I, I I'm glad that I have a glimpse of my deck so that I can I can plan out my next move. I'm gonna add uh, Neos Alias. Okay. Because honestly, Neos Alias is probably one of the best cards in this deck. <laughs> yep. Uh, next, I am going to activate a Hero Lives by okay. paying 1,900 life points. The special summon Shadow Mist. I take it. Yes, to Special Summon Shadow Mist, as I want to do in a deck where he's the only fucking card that activates when he's Special Summon. Uh, I guess I'll special... Yeah, I'm going to Special Summon him in attack mode. Mm -hmm. And when he is Special a Summon... A uh, change quick play spell. So you're going to grab Mass Change 1 or 2? Uh, I'm going to grab Mass Change 1, because okay. I think I know what I'm going to do right after I get it.
And that is to activate Mask Change. In order to get Dark Claw. In order to get Dark Claw, and then Shadow Miss activates, allowing me to get whoever the hell I want. <laughs> I'm actually... That, I, okay, I think now I'm starting to see why people love Dark Claw so much. That that Shadow Miss combo basically allowed me to get him into the graveyard. 2400 meter with a great stall potential out for free. Yeah, basically. It's amazing. Uh, I guess I'm going to get... Uh, uh, I'm going to get Elemental Hero Heat. I have a good feeling about him. Okay. Okay. Uh, still main phase one. I have a 2400 beater on the field. Your 2300 will be unable to get over. But I need to clear out your... I need I need to clear out the monsters on your side of the field. So I am going to normal summon Neo Spacing Grand Mole. Okay. Neo Spacing Grand Mole is going to bounce your Ixies monster. All right, then. And do, 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 do extra. And then Dark Law is going to swing into your guy. Okay. Uh, goes to Banish, and I lose 700? Yeah, 700. Yes. However, now I have left myself wide open for a potential counterattack, which I'm not terribly pleased about. Um, since I have too many cards in my hand during the end step, I'm going to dump Alias into the graveyard and end my turn. Okay. Hmm. So I can't actually use Card Trooper right now. Damn. All right. Um, isn't isn't Gar Gear Guy Accelerator banished no, now? No, Gear Guy Accelerator was not a card. On, was not a card. So he is not. He is not uh, banished. Technicalities. <laughs> mm. <laughs> <laughs> this fucking game. Okay, mm. I'm over it. All right. Um, I'm going to. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna set. Um, I'm gonna set a monster and end. Okay then. Um. All right. Well, there's. All right. What? Okay, I need to look at my extra deck for a second. Um, God, your opponent would not. I don't think I need to use that, although it would be nice. But I think I think I I should keep Dark Law in place so I have that control element. Um, which is why first. What what am I? God, I hate the pre-setup in this deck because I can't, I can't do the first thing until I do the second thing. <laughs> I'm gonna activate Oversoul just to say that I did it to grab okay. Alias from the graveyard. <laughs> but you just discarded him. I know, I know. <laughs> I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna normal summon Elemental Hero Heat. Okay. And then I'm gonna activate H Heated Heart. Mm -hmm. To give my Dark Law 500 more attack plus piercing. Mm -hmm. Swing into your guy for 2,900 attack. Alright. Uh, Minefield Driller is banished. I lose 14. And then I'm going to attack you directly for 2,000. Yep. Uh, main phase 2. Oh, brother. All right, I'm just I'm just going to keep my fingers crossed that so you're not going to draw into removal this turn. Mm. All right, I'm going to set a card and put a monster into defense mode. I see. I am going to normal summon Elemental Hero Wild Heart. Mm -hmm. Now, uh... Actually, I could... If I wanted to go for game, I have to attack with Wildheart first, so that's what I'm going to do. Mm, all right. Uh, my gear gown is banished. And then swing the fences. Mm, to which I will discard my Swift Scarecrow, ending your battle Beautiful. Phase. Main phase two, 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 two. Uh... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look at my fusion deck again. Ah, that's what I should have been doing. I finally get the combination. 
but I realized it too late. <laughs> it's okay, dude. I'm going to normal summon Gear Gaia Attacker, okay? Uh, okay. Next, I'm going to activate Metal Morph on my Gear Gaia Attacker. So now he's 2400. No, now uh, now he is 2200. Oh, because I was thinking of Ram Metal Morph. All right. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to have my Gear Gaia Attacker attack Dark Law, all right? Because it gains attack equal to half of the attack of the attack target. Mm -hmm. Bring me up to 32, or wait, 34. Right, because he was at 22 before. Mm -hmm. 34, so I lose 1,000 life points. Mm -hmm. That is a heavy hit. Mm, it's not going to win me the game, though. Well, I mean, now now your cards don't get banished every time. Mm, true. And you, can and you can use effects accordingly. So this guy... So he only gains attack when he attacks? Uh, he gains the, the native 300 uh, uh, permanently, but he only gains the attack boost when he attacks. Okay, um, so uh, I I should I should be able to finish this like right now. I just have to think. Get, mm, 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 mm. Nope. Uh, let's go into uh, graveyard. Help me. No, graveyard is not helpful. That is not helpful. That is kind of helpful. Um, I just need to concentrate on getting rid of this guy. Even though I don't, I can't really take the game right now. Actually, that would be a terrible move. Okay, the the best move I can do is use the Neo Spacing Grand Mole to bounce your guy. Uh, okay, and that'll Cause, goes to grave. Because the alternative would have been way worse than that. Uh, swing with Wild Heart. Uh, for fifteen. And then swing with Heat for two thousand. Yep. Can I draw into Removal Cloud? Can you draw into a card that has 2,400 attack? Mm. Uh, well, no, I can't go into 24. Damn. Uh, no, I wanted to normal summon card trooper. Sadly, this is certainly game. Uh, mill the but top why three. Would you, why would you suicide? <laughs> mm. And I'll swing at uh, Wild Heart, dealing 400 damage. I take 400 damage, so I'm down to 500. Mm, you you seem to think that I had a different play here, dude. I really did not. I, mean, I honestly, ha I have no idea what I, you. I mean, played. I could have used Gear Guy Attacker to a swing over uh, Wild Heart, but you've got Grand Mole in hand. You also have Hero. You also have Alias and Ocean in hand. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's a, what I meant. What I meant to say, it's not that you couldn't have done anything. It's just I have no idea what your move set is. <laughs> that mm. is my fault. But you'll notice that all, all that um, your deck is. Uh, you'll notice that your deck is both a bit faster and more bursty than mine. Thanks, thanks, Shadow Mist. Yeah, Shadow Mist. Shadow Mist easily is one of the best plays in the deck, mm -hmm. especially because a hero lives can grab him from the deck for a. Basically, basically any time you can, because I, I love cards that let you pay half your life points, because you can always pay half of your life points. Mm -hmm. Unless you're at one life point. Unless you're at one life point. Uh, but yeah, um, uh, what changes would you like to make to that particular deck? Okay, um, I would say simplify. I, I believe in the KISS method. KISS is an acronym that stands for Keep It Simple, Stupid. And let me tell you about simplicity. Is miracle? I was sitting on Miracle Fusion, which I couldn't do. Uh, really? Because... Way oh okay that that is my fault. I could have used Miracle Fusion. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure you've got both Zero and uh, and Shining in there, right? Nope. Oh. Um, the only the only non-masked hero fusions I have are Great Tornado, which I need a Wind Monster and a hero, and Contrast Hero Chaos, who needs two masked heroes. So ba basically, the only thing I could have gone into is Great Tornado, but I needed yeah, a Wind but, Monster to uh, do but that. You never had a, you didn't get Avion in the second game, so. Precisely, I did finally realize that I could have used Form Change on Dark Law in order to bring out Koga. And with Koga, I could start finally banishing heroes from the graveyard so that I could set up for other effects that require me to have banished heroes. Yeah, like Parallel. Like like Parallel World, precisely. Mm -hmm. So it's just, it's, this deck, it requires a lot of 
uh, setup in order to actually go off. I kind of wish there were like shortcuts that got you the that let you set the conditions you need. Um, otherwise, I mean, basically, thanks to Shadow Mist, this deck is quite formidable, in my opinion. So you would pretty much just splash in another Shadow Mist and another Mask Change. Well, no, that would be that would be cheap. I have a conscience. <laughs> All right. As for me, um, I like the Gear Gaia deck in general. Honestly, uh, the thing that I would change most about it is probably dropping the the Gear Gianos themselves. The Gear Gianos are are very important uh, for the deck in general, but they end up but they end up clogging you pretty hard uh, earlier earlier on. Whereas the armors and accelerators are just super amazing. I would uh, I would honestly tr probably get rid of a Gear Gaia attacker and a Gear Giano Mark uh, Mark One or Two, so I have the ability to put in another uh, Gear Gaia armor and Gear Gaia accelerator. Aside you from want, that, you, I love that yeah. this deck runs both rare Metal Morph and base Metal Morph. Metal Morph is one of my favorite trap cards. I have a lot of really yeah. powerful uh, favorite trap cards though, so. I actually forgot that Metal Morph lets it gain attack equal to the attack target. Well, half the uh, yeah. attack of the attack target. Um, I don't Ge really understand why Gear Town and uh, Chimera and Dragon are in here. It, yeah, because why Why would they... It's because they're Gears! They're ancient Gears! They're yeah, the ancestors but, of the Gear Gaia. Yeah, and... They don't work. A dragon is a great <laughs> a dragon is a great beat stick, and even better if you can actually tribute summon him. The deck doesn't want you to tribute summon him. Uh, Chimera no. is a decent beat stick if you tribute summon him, and again, the deck doesn't want you to tribute summon him. Right now, the deck desperately wants you to go into Gear Gigant X uh, as early as possible. As also, uh, Gear Gai Gear Gigant XG. <sighs> Stupid <laughs> name. Stupid name. So, it's it's tantalizing because they know that if it was the same name, well, the the other guy is like Gear Gigan X. Yeah, Gear, Gear Gigan, Gigan X. X. It's very simple. Yeah, it's they they did that on purpose so that you couldn't get Gear Gaia abilities by having a Gear Gaia on the field while Gigan X was on the field because he's not Gear Gaia. Right. I actually missed that. I thought my arsenal was up to nineteen during that, but nope. Yeah, your deck. Um, it, I, I agree that the ancient gears, the the ancient gears are just plain dumb in your deck. I do like that it runs limiter removal, especially because if <laughs> if you run uh, one non gear guy accelerator, you you normal summon it, and you special summon three, go into limiter removal. And I don't you think probably, you're to special summon three. I, no, it says if you control a Gear Gaia monster, you can special summon this card oh, from yeah, your you hand. Oh, yeah, you can. All right. Oh, he has to come in defense mode? Yeah. Oh, shit, I did fuck that up. My bad. Cheater. I am sorry. I fucked that up. Would that, so I, I don't think that would have changed the outcome of game two that much, though. Or, no, nah. it was game one that I won, wasn't it? It was, it was game one that you won. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. We went to three. Yep, That's we did thing. go to three. And you won. I won. I did it. Yay. But yeah, uh, I want to I want to apply K KISS to this too. Simply just drop uh, drop the uh, Gear Gaios and the Ancient Gear stuff. Um, yeah. Because uh, uh, aside from that, it pr very much plays like a Monarch Gadgets, and Monarch Gadgets was one of the best decks of its time, and then it fell off because we got into the uh, 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 Teledad stuff. <laughs> Uh, I could totally see somebody writing a chapter in a history book, the like you know the year span and the the conquering deck. <laughs> it's like yeah. a dynasty. Um, I as a, as another addendum to what I would change, I would take out honest. I I can't really agree with that. Koga alias. I I could have swore that you had shining in there. Uh, no, not here. Man, no shining in here. A Prisma, Prisma also is conspicuously absent from this deck. That, well, Prisma doesn't really make cool. sense because you don't re you don't really uh, want to send. Well, although you do want to send your heroes to the graveyard, you want to get their effects off first. Like the only one that you really want to send to the graveyard uh, would probably be Wildheart, simply so that you can banish him later. Yeah, or I would want to dump normal monsters so I could use O Oversoul, or use that other trap card that's kind of cool. Uh, hero uh, signal? Hero, hero Blast. Uh, hero Blast, yeah. 
See, Prisma can set up those cards, and that would have been great because I'm I was honestly I got tired really fast of sitting on cards that I lacked the prerequisites for. <laughs> but uh yeah, that's all I have to say about that. Alright then guys, this has been Gear Guy at Rampage versus uh Heroes Strike. That's it, Hero Strike. Hero Strike. Hey. Alright guys, be safe. Bye bye.